I bought the subscription for Claude. In fact, I've added some credits in the OpenAI. I got the uh, subscription for JetGPT and many more. In fact, JetBrains AI assistants. And I thought it will increase my productivity. And then when you build with AI, if you're using Cursor or any other AI agents or IDE where you got AI agents inbuilt, you think that it is improving your speed. And that's what I used to think. And I was very happy building those projects. So I did some pilot projects. I did some projects for the uh, for the courses. And in fact, the internal projects which we are building in Telesco, we are using AI assistance. And then we are thinking it's going very fast thanks to all this AI tool. And then I was talking to my, one of my friend and we were discussing about what Mark Zuckerberg mentioned about developers. And their plan is to replace mid-level engineers with AI by, by the end of 2025. In fact, Salesforce CEO says they have a plan of replacing developers or workforce with AI. And then my friend sent me this article. And this article is by Meter. So they are basically a model evaluation and threat research. This is what they do. And they basically evaluate the models AI system and see how well they are doing and they published this article what they did is they did this uh, randomized control uh, trial where they basically got few developers few experienced developers who has experience of 10 years 15 years and then everyone was working on their own open source project and now they got this task of working on their projects maybe a particular task or series of tasks and few people got the AI help and few people were asked to do it by themselves. And before doing this research, in fact, uh, we have this amazing chart here, which looks good. So basically, uh, the economics experts, so when you see news, they are predicting that using AI, it doesn't matter maybe any field it, in, term, in development or in research or whatever, whatever you are into, uh, it will speed up your process by around 40%. That's what they are forecasting. The experts in ML, they said, okay, let, let's go a bit down and let's have a smaller range. Now, the developers, before they study, they, they thought, okay, it will speed up their process by around 25%. And after the study, they thought they, it has improved their performance by 20%. Okay. But the observed result is it has decreased their productivity by 19%. So this is for people who used AI to complete those tasks. So that means AI is actually reducing your speed of development. Okay, now that is what this research talks about. Now, of course, they actually went in detail. Uh, so the thing is, there are certain things which we have to understand first. These are experienced developers. Maybe they are not experienced with AI, how to use prompts or how to uh, do the same task in an efficient way. I'm not sure. Or maybe they have. But one thing is for sure, they were working on their own projects. And now what happens is when you work on your own project, so let's say if I'm working on a particular project for three to four years, now I know in and out of that project from start to end, you just give me a, a method name, I will tell you in which class you will find it. Or if you tell me, okay, there's a problem with this particular feature, I will exactly know where the problem is. Maybe I don't know the solution, but I know the pro where the problem will be. Now, when you know this much about a project, and if you given a task to do to work on it, it will be faster is because for AI, AI has a limited context here. So it will read your code files because that's how AI agents work. So when you have AI agent in your IDE, basically you can give a task. Hey, you know, this is a project. Maybe I want to add this particular feature. Now what this AI agent will do is it will scan the entire project files step by step. And then it will figure out, okay, these are the project files, this is what it does, and now I want to add this new feature. Now at this point, when a developer get this prompt, you have two options. You can ask it to, you know, don't ask me, just modify the files. And we don't do that in actual projects. We do that when you are building a fun application or if you want to just try out some pilot projects, it's, it's good there. But if you want to do that in the existing project, which is already into prod, we don't normally allow AI to make the changes. We simply say, okay, give me a suggestion, I will do it. Now this suggestion given by AI, first, it will take time to generate this response. Then you have to analyze the response. And then after analyzing it, 
then you will make some uh, modification because rework is required sometime or the most of the time and then you modify it and then you say okay now let's skip it there so it takes more time than building that thing by yourself and that's what this research talks about now one more thing to observe they were slow i mean using ai it was slow is because they were using the older models so this research was done uh, in july and maybe before that because it got published in july uh, maybe june yeah it was july and uh, they have used the tools which was released earlier this year but now uh, so they have used 3.5 3.7 sonnet or uh, cloud cloud sonnet but now we got cloud opus 4.1 gpt5 which are way better than this models uh, if you compare opus 4.1 it is better than 3.7 and if you compare gpt5 again that is compared that is better than this so maybe if they conduct the same research now the models or the result of using ai would be a bit better but also if we can write a proper prompts if we can give a proper context to the ai or maybe we can if you can do fine tuning with it it will give a better result now coming back to my experience working with it uh, so as i mentioned i have used it for pilot projects i have used it for creating course projects and the internal tools which we are using it worked because we have not done that in one day because if you are just testing it for one day it might not do well we are using that continuously so now the ai tool knows or maybe we have done some fine tuning with it or maybe we have added some more context it is performing well not just in terms of greenfield projects where everything is started from scratch also the project which we have already built so 90% done already done now we have added some new features with the help of ai and that is working it is also useful in creating test cases it is also useful in creating documentations so overall the productivity is going up so yes it slows you down when you just started work for one day but overall it improves it it will improve your speed but that doesn't means that it will replace developers completely because even ai is not that powerful yes they are claiming it uh, maybe ai is a bubble we are not sure uh, everyone talks about ai is a bubble see ai as a technology is not a bubble same goes for blockchain blockchain as a technology was not a bubble uh, it was the funding which was happening to the blockchain companies which was a bubble the blockchain technology is solid and same goes for ai ai as a technology is very solid what is a bubble is this fundings which is going on so just you know one of my developers were talking you know we are losing this battle you know we should raise funds just launch any ai product we will get funds we can do that but we don't want to shut down the company after 2 to 3 months so not a good idea because it might be a bubble right uh, so that's that's the thing ai is solid and it will improve the speed and maybe in future we will get better ai models and of course the the way we are thinking that ai models will grow exponentially is not happening uh, with every model you will see slight imp improvement we wanted huge improvements but that is not happening uh, so i will put this research link in the description and if you find something which i have not talked about uh, let me know in the comments uh, in fact i want to add one more point here there is also articles regarding 95% of the ai pilot projects are are failing see the thing is when you talk about pilot projects they are mostly for testing and initial things but if you think about software development as well not every project which starts actually goes to production right there are so many softwares which we build we test it out and we realize okay that's not how it's working then we pivot and then we build something else okay so even when software development came for the first time it most of the projects were failing but soon we realize okay we have to follow some system design we have to follow some uh, best practices we have to follow some uh, pipelines and using that you can build a better project now same goes for ai it's very new so it will take some time to grow and once it is there once we have the best practices we have the tools of course it will not be 90% but somewhere around 50 60 and that is enough yeah <laughs> uh, cool so that's about this where ai is slowing down maybe but not exactly. Bye-bye.